Hello, removing various contaminants from water is one of the critical roles of environmental engineering to protect our health. Today, we are going to see one of the electrochemical treatment methods called electrocoagulation, the way to remove contaminants from water samples. What is electrocoagulation? Electrocoagulation is a compound word meaning electrochemical functions and coagulation for water treatment. Coagulation is one of the conventional treatment processes to remove suspended particles in water. Those suspended particles are not easily settled down and not coagulated to each other to make bigger flux due to repulsive charge, in this case, negative charges between particles. To make bigger flux that will be easily separated from water, we add counter ions to coagulate suspended particles. We add chemicals like aldin, ferrous sulfates, and ferric salts. The key point here is that we are adding multivalent cations such as aluminum, ferrous, or ferric ions for destabilization and flux formation. Unlike the conventional coagulation process, electrocoagulation does not need chemical addition. Instead, we are adding cations through metal oxidation. You might have learned galvanic cells in the chemistry class. In the galvanic cells, the zinc electrode is oxidized as an anode, thus zinc ions are dissolved into the solution. Same way, you can oxidize aluminum or ion electrode to add multivalent cations for coagulation. This is how electrocoagulation works. You have metal anode and cathode here, and we apply the electrical voltages to accelerate the electrochemical reactions on both anode and cathode. Once the electrical voltage is applied, metal ions are dissolved into the solution, and hydrogen evolution or oxygen reduction reactions are occurring at the cathode and producing hydroxide ions. Metal hydroxide flux are formed by dissolved metal ions and hydroxide ions, and they can be used to remove contaminants in water by coagulation and flocculation or absorption. This is a polycarbonate chamber for electrical coagulation experiments. You can place anode and cathode on either side of this chamber. This is a metal anode we use. It is a circular shape and placed at one side of this chamber. And this is a cathode, especially we use active decarbon cathode for our experiments. You can place on the side. And this is a fully equipped electrocoagulation reactor. You can place the AC reactor on the plate and use a DC power supply to apply voltage to this reactor. Red plus goes to the metal anode and black minus goes to the cap and turn on the power supply and set the desired voltage. Now it is running. This video was recorded over one hour electrocoagulation in our reactor. And it's been played faster now. As you can see, some white clouds are forming in the middle of this reactor as time goes. Metal hydroxide flux are being generated by metal oxidation and reduction reactions in the reactor. You can see the generated metal hydroxide flux after an hour on the right. You can clearly see the white precipitate at the bottom of the tube. Contaminants can be coagulated with this flux or observed onto the surface of the flux so we can remove contaminants from water. Electrocoagulation can treat various contaminants in water, for example, 
Our group is trying to improve electrical coagulation to remove free files from water samples with less energy input. Next time, I will show you how we use electrical coagulation to remove FIFOA and PFOS in water samples. Thank you for watching.